today's episode will not be the longest episode ever. I just want to show a quick spot where you can get some active burbots and a lot of burbots at a short period of time for you burbot hunters out there. So without any further ado, let's jump right on in and do today's episode. All right, I'm at 134.90. I'm, I don't have a specific species that I'm fishing for during the day. Whatever bites my hook, I will take. But at nighttime, I'm trying specifically to go for a burbot and see what we can get. I believe we got a bite on line one. Yes, we do. What is this one going to be? It's getting pretty late in the evening, so burbot should start biting pretty soon here. Oh, it's an East Siberian Sterlet. Look at that. You'd love to see them on worms or night crawlers. Nice. I will take it. There is something on line three. Let's see what this is going to be. Something small again. Siberian Sardine at Cisco. Get the disco ball out. I'm just kidding. All right. <laughs> All right, so we got 140 grams Siberian sardine Cisco. All right, we got a bite on line two. An active spot right here. I have no ground bait. I'll show you what I'm using. This is what I'm using right here. I am using 35 kilogram fluocarbon line. I am using a large Muga S1 hook, and I am using Nightcrawlers. That's all I'm using, and the bite rate is pretty good. We got something here. Something's nibbling away here. This is this is the spot where I got my two trophy burbots. I believe one of them is 9.5 9 and the other one is around 8k. Very nice size. Come on. Swallow that hook for daddy. Come on now. Come on. I know you want to. Oh. Oh. I'm just thinking about it. Oh, oh, there we go. Let's um, eat some delicious honey to get our energy back up. What is this going to be? Is it a burbot? It's a burbot! There's our burbot we're looking for. What's up, dude? What's up? Alright. It's not a big one by any means, but that's what I'm looking for. Alright, so they're, they're starting to bite right now. That's good. Alright, let's see what else we can... Oh! Alright, there we go. Damn, this is a hot spot. Ooh. What is, is this? Give me another bourbon? Please be another bourbon. Or give me a juicy sterlet. Or a Siberian. I'll take it. Oh, it's a bourbon, yeah. A 5.6 kilogram bourbon. You love to see it. That's the size I love to see. Very nice size. All right. Let's see what else we can catch at this spot. All right, we got something on line two. Just gotta wait for it to bite and swallow that dang hook. No, no, you're not gonna fool me. I know you're there. I know you're there. Uh -huh. Did you just leave? No, 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 you didn't leave. I was going to say, get your ass back. Nope. You're still there. Good. Okay, stop playing with your food. Would you just take the damn hook? All right? Make our both our lives a hell of a lot easier. Oh, my goodness. Seriously? Is that how you want to play it? Oh, you see, look. Take the example of the fish that bought that uh, bit line three. Look at it. He bit it right away. He swallowed that hook and he's off. He's off going away, going across the water. Look at that. See, take example from this fish on the hook right here. I like when they swallow the, swallow the bait and the hook and they swim off. Oh, 874. Okay. Still a burbot. And fortunately, I think line two... Oh, no, it's back. It's back. Hallelujah. He, might, he or she might bite the hook. Oh. Oh, my goodness. This one is just teasing me. 
There we go. There we go. Oh, it's an Amur catfish. Amur, Amur, whatever you want to say it. Nice. 1.1. 1 .1. All right, I'll take it. Wait, I forgot you can get those here. <laughs> it's been so long since I um, bought and fed here. But... All right, sweet. So far, we have six fish in the bucket. Uh, yeah, I started the episode with one fish in the keep net. Nothing to worry about. It's just a Siberian Loach for the Emma. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we have six fish in the keep net. You know what I'm going to do, actually. Uh, where is it here? So it doesn't... Um, discard. There we go. Thank you. Because all the silver I'm making today's episode, I want it to be from actual fish from today's episode, not from other lakes. So now, it's all fish from this river. Alright, let's see what else we can get here. As long as he doesn't play with his bait or his food, I don't mind. Oh. oh, come on. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. Good. Another catfish? Not catfish. A burbot? I'll take a catfish. A <laughs> burbot? Yep, 1.7 burbot. Alright. And I am using clip 30. I repeat, clip number 30. Oh, we got something on line one. Oh, in line three. Oh my goodness. This is uh, the mother hole. Two point eight K Burbit. All right. Love to see it. Oh, okay. Three point eight K Burbit. There we go. You know, I'm not going to lie, if I was out here all by myself in pitch black and I hear a wolf start howling, I'm not going to lie. I'd probably shit myself. You know how scary that would be? Pitch black, with only a flashlight, middle of goddamn nowhere, and you got wolves howling behind you. Now that, now that, that's not scary, I don't know what is. I know I'm a country boy, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be scared of the wilderness, but I am. <laughs> Well, especially if I go alone, okay? And with only a flashlight. Come on now. I don't even think I have pepper spray either, do I? Nope. Goodness gracious. Nope, not for me. Nope. No, thank you. Alright. It is 22 o'clock. We're going to see what else can bite during the evening or throughout the late early morning. So, yeah, let's see what we get. Oh. I was just going to edit that part out, but no, we got something on the line three. Another burbot? Yep, one kilogram of burbot. Right? All right. <laughs> uh, brings back some memories. Sure it does. So okay. So the so the little story here. If you don't like story time, I'm sorry about that. But for the people who do, I got a little story for you. All right. So last summer, I'm a mountain climber. If you guys don't, and guys don't, and girls don't know, I am a mountain climber. So last summer. I was mountain climbing um, a town next to me, and I, I finally got on top of the mountain, right? I finally got on top of the damn mountain. I believe it was evolution ev of, what was it, uh, 1,300 meters up, 1,400 meters up, evolution. 
I'm not sure how you. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Evolution. Ev not evolution. It's not evolu evolution. <laughs> evolution. I think that's what it's called. So I always have trouble pronouncing that. Um, but yeah, it was about 13, 1400 evolution. Ev not evolution. Not evolution. Evolution. Of <laughs> Elevation. Yeah. Elevation. There you go. Not evolution. <laughs> Anyways, I was 13, 1400 meters up. I had a, a few beers up there, right? Because, you know, that's my victory. As soon as I get on top of any mountain, I celebrate with some beers, right? And then I didn't realize how, how uh, dark it was getting. And it was the sun started going down, and I had to get back down still. So I took a tr decided to take a deer trail all the way down the mountain, and that is not a good idea. There was false peaks everywhere. But anyways, I was going down, and I got about halfway, maybe halfway down, pitch black, with only a flashlight, and all of a sudden, I hear, whoop, whoop, like that, and it was over and over, and I, I, it had to be, I thought it was a baby bear, I don't know what it was, but I'm assuming it's a baby cub, but that scared me, sh oh, shitless, man, holy, you've never seen a guy run so fast in his life. Because after I heard that, I sat still for like, what, maybe 10 minutes? I was so nervous. <laughs> and then I booked it down the mountain. I fell a few times. And yeah, I finally got out of there. But you know how scary that is? When you're all alone, you have a flashlight. And all you hear in the middle, pitch black. You have no idea where you are. All you got, all you know is you have to go down. And you hear, whoop, whoop. Oh my goodness. That's the most petrifying thing I have ever heard in my life. I right, three kilogram burbot, not bad, not bad. Yeah. Now that's that's in an experience in a story. That, that's why I got so petrified of the wolves. Because it reminded me of that scenario, pitch black, only a flashlight. Going down probably two hours of a mountain. Yeah, it took me two out two and a half hours to get down the mountain from the very top. And all you hear is animal sounds everywhere, especially that one I just pronounced. That whoop! Whoop! Oh. Don't no, never again. Anyways, get back to fishing. <laughs> One day I'm not going to make it back home. <laughs> yeah, something's going to eat me. Bigfoot or something's going to eat me. Uh, a little bourbon. Alright. There we go. Alright, I'll be back if we catch any more fish. Which, which one of you is going to swallow the hook first? This one? There we go. Find three. Eight fifty five Barabit. There we go. And I do want to let you guys and girls know, I've never said it before in my videos, but if you hear me mispronounce a lot of words, you know, instead of, you know, being mean in the comment section, <laughs> I do have autism. So a lot of you probably don't know that, but that's why it's not a severe case, as you can tell, because if I was severe, you'd probably notice it a lot more. But <laughs> I do have autism, so if I do mispronounce a lot of words, that's why... That's one of my categories in autism that I have trouble with is um, mispronunciation. Yeah, so that's why I mispronounce a lot of things. So just let you guys and girls know. All right. Let's see what else we can get during the night. Right, we got something hitting on line three here. Urban. All right. No, I, I, I know I've seen something bite line two. You know, you know, you know, don't swim away from me. Get your ass back and bite that lure. I seen the rod band. You're, you're, you're there somewhere. Come on now. Don't play me dirty. Yeah, there you go. 
I knew you were there. This feels like the tiniest bourbon of a century. 241, that, that, that sounds about right. Oh, look at that. 69 XP. 69 premium. Wow, decent fish. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, tonight's not that bad. It is pretty active, if I have to say so myself. All right, that's going to do it for today's episode of Burbot Fishing. So let's see what kind of silver we got. There's a fish market. It's been so long since I've been here. Where's the fish uh, cafe here? Oh, it's over there, isn't it? Yeah, right, I remember. Way over here. Let's see if we got any cafe orders for some burbots. Probably not. They're pretty rare in a cafe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got the... Uh, Okay, I'm getting my handy dandy calculator out because I will forget very fast. Let's see, 54. There we go. Sweet. I'm glad we got at least one cafe order out of this. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, so let's go to the fish market and see how much silver we made. What you guess is I'm going to say probably 100 silver in one night. We got 86 silver plus 54. Uh, 86. So it's 140 silver. In one night of burbot fishing, which is not horrible, but you know, it's still a lot of burbot. If I would have stayed for another night and then another night, you know, it would my keep net would be full of burbot. Burbot are just really active at that spot at the moment. So go ahead before the burb the burbot spot is not active anymore. Go ahead, go out there and try for yourself and see if you can get any trophy burbots yourself. So yeah, there's one trophy burbot spot even though we didn't get a trophy burbot that's the spot before where i got my trophy burbot i will show you quickly before we end off the episode here so if we go to my burbot here let's see as you can see the lower tangaska river nightcrawler is what i used and it was at the exact same spot i caught two of these bad boys i caught a 9.78 kilogram and then i caught in both i think an 8.5 8.4 kilograms so two trophy burbots at that one location so if you guys and gals enjoyed today's episode, please remember to smash the thumbs up button, hit the hell out of the subscribe button, and I'll see all of you on the very next episode of Russian Fishing for a Care.